Now particularly if you're using nitrate removers, which is products like Ultimate Aquacare's Phosphate, I mean sorry, um, Nitrate Remover, or NOPX by Red Sea, any of these carbon based products, it's important that you've got a very efficient functioning protein skimmer to export um, various remnants from these sorts of products out of the water. And in order to have a good functioning protein skimmer, it's very important to understand how it functions. So first of all, you need to make sure that your Venturi is completely um, free so the oxygen can suck in. Um, a lot of them come with little caps and so forth that go on the end. And if that reduces the flow of the air, then that will reduce the amount of bubbles that can get into the unit. And that will reduce how efficient the unit is to actually run. Then the air gets sucked via a venturi from here into a pump. So the pump which is going to sit in the aquarium itself. And this is a particular hang-on unit which you could either use as a hang-on or you could um, submerge within a sump. It's no problem. Then the water goes into a like a venturi and venturi the air goes into a venturi and the water goes into a vortex which spins up around and then in the middle of this neck here is where we got the bubbles now if the bubbles are white such as this one which we've just turned on then you want the bubbles to be just sitting in the neck somewhere visible in the neck if the bubbles are starting to go yellow or brown we want the bubbles to actually come up over this and get collected in this collection cup. It is important to, to have a look to see if your unit has got a drain on it because if it's got a drain on it that needs to go into a coke bottle or somewhere to ensure that this doesn't just pour back into your aquarium again. So the way that you set this skimmer is these are gates and if you close these gates then you'll see the the bubbles raise and if you open these gates you'll see the bubbles drop so they've got two gates that you can play with so once again that that's open and then as I start to close it the bubbles will raise up and we really want the bubbles to bubble away in the middle of the neck assuming they're white and we want the colored bubbles to come out now the next thing important thing to understand is how to clean these units and um, when you clean it you want to just use like a pipe cleaner or something to clean the inside of this don't use your fingers because the fatty acids from your fingers can break down the absorbate now this whole cap comes off so you can go and tip out the absorbate or the waste that you've sucked out of the water and really the the most important thing is to clean the inside of this this whole chamber right along the inside needs to be nice and clean because if and you can clean it in tap water no problem it's not biological so what we don't want is bacteria, fatty acids or anything else building up on the inside of this, um, this cone. Otherwise they will break down the absorbate and send them back into the water, reducing the efficiency of the skimmer. Um, the other way to set the level two is raising or lowering the um, skimmer in the water if it is a submerged skimmer like the, like like we're using this